so warm up for lesson number nine okay so as always we've been doing lately we're going to recap the last lesson so last lesson we were getting to know our tennis racket learning how to balance the ball okay lots of different things so today we're going to recap that all right so first of all okay you're going to get a bigger ball all right and you're going to put it onto your racket or whatever bat you're using okay and all we're going to do is see if you can go in and out of all of the cones that I've put down, okay? So look, I might start here, and I wanna see if I can not let the ball drop, okay? So if I drop it, pick it back up, we go again, but let's see if you can balance it, two-handed or one-handed, up to you, okay? So that I'm gonna go in and out as quick as I can. I'm gonna use one hand, and I gotta see if I can go in and out through the cone. Look, now the ball is gonna try and stay in the middle okay so the middle here so can you keep it in the middle can you go in and out of all the cones so if you feel like it's really easy with the bigger ball you might see if you can maybe jog a little like me okay can you jog a bit keep it on there okay who can go the quickest yeah so in and out in and out in and out last one who can get through it you can get through it look in and out in and out in and out and perfect now we're going to move on now so I've used my big ball. I can do that pretty easily. If you're still finding it hard, keep trying with that one. If you're finding it easy or you want to challenge, get a smaller ball now, okay? So we want to try and keep it in the middle and we don't want it bouncing or falling off. Look, we want it on the middle, okay? All right, so a bit like a pancake. Can you keep it nice and still on the middle, okay? All right, ready? So let, let's see if we can go in and out again. So I might start slow, one-handed. I want to see if I can keep the ball from touching the outside of it, which we call the rim, okay? So in and out, in and out, keep it away from the side, okay? In and out, in and out, keep going. Now, if you're finding it easy, who can go quick enough? Okay, who can go quick? And if you want a real challenge, it might be that you change your hand. So I might use my left hand now, okay? Not my normal one, but can you do it with both hands? Okay, there's a challenge. Ready, in and out, keep going. Can I keep that ball on it? Good, try not let it touch the rim. Go, 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 keep going, keep going. Who can get it the most times? You can go in and out of their cones the most times. Well done. Keep going, oh, perfect. One more go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You can make this the quickest one. In and out, in and out, and perfect, freeze there, okay. Next one, okay, got our ball, got our racket, all right? We're gonna see if we can do small, little bounces. So it might be that to start with, look, we're trying to flick up the ball and we're trying to balance the ball on the racket so it doesn't fall or bounce off like that, okay? So look, can you flick it up and try and land it? Now, if you're finding it hard with a flick up, it might be that you just drop the ball or just throw it in the air like that. Okay, it might be that if you find it easier, throw it in the ball like that. And who can try and keep the ball on the racket? Okay, all right, so keep trying. Look, who can, and if you find it uh, easy, throw it even higher. Okay, and the higher you get, the harder it is because it's going to get a bigger bounce off the racket. So you've got to try and bring the ball into the racket. If I go towards the ball, it's going to flick back up. Okay, but as the ball comes down, I let it drop into my racket. Okay, so perfect, who can do that? Okay, run last go, Let's drop. Look, keep going, drop. Okay, now we're gonna make it harder, last bit. All right, now we're gonna learn how to, remember how to bounce the ball in the racket. So remember, who can do sl bounces with the ball on your racket? So eyes always on the ball, you want the ball to always land in the middle of your racket. If it goes to the side, it might pop off. So you want to try and make sure that it lands in the middle. And if you watch my, my hand, or my arm, it's just slightly going up and down, okay? I'm not going very aggressive and smashing it in the air. I'm just keeping it up and down. Every time it goes towards the racket, I'm moving it up a little bit, okay? So let's go for 20 seconds. Who can keep this going? Okay, if you want, or if you want a challenge, it might be that you try and spin the racket round. Who can try that? Who can go one, two, or keep it going? Yeah, if you can't, that's fine. You might try and change hands. 
You might try and swap hands as much as you can. Okay, but if you're finding it hard, as I say, keep doing this. If you're finding it easy, then challenge yourself with some spins. Okay, last 10. Now, when we finish this lesson, you can practice this anyway, because it's really good for your concentration and your hand-eye coordination, which means when you're playing sports like this, you get a lot better at hitting and connecting with the ball. Okay, so, perfect. Okay, brilliant warm-up. Yeah, it's really hot. We don't want to get you running around too much. Have a drink, you must have one, and then come back for the session. Okay, so main part of our session. So today we're working on hitting the ball or our hand-eye coordination. All right, so last time we were all about getting to know our racket, balancing, bouncing, but today we're gonna learn how to hit the ball properly, all right? Now with tennis, there's two main ways of hitting it, although there are a couple others. So the ones we're gonna learn are the forehand, which is where you want to hit it this way and you want to make a C and strike the ball and you always want the ball to try and hit the middle of your racket, okay? So that's our forehand and then the other way we're going to learn is our backhand, which is where you do the same action but you have the racket on the other side and my body is turned the other way. So look, we have forehand and we have backhand, same action with both, same way the racket finishes but there's two different ways of hitting it, all right? So what you're gonna do now is set up a square, and then if you can see over there, I've got three cones with uh, three tennis balls on. I'm gonna use this one as well. If you don't have cones, you can just put it on the floor. It just makes it a little bit easier because it means you can get under the ball a bit, all right? So I'm gonna go over to my cones, okay? And we're gonna start with the forehand, all right? Now, you guys are about here on me, so you're going to go down, on, I'm going to go down onto my knees, okay? But normally, you guys stay standing up, all right? Now, what you want to do, you want to try and hit it into our square, okay? So you want to get the right power to try and hit it into our square. So I'm going to make that C shape, remember? And I'm going to see if I can go C and hit it into our square. So that is rubbish, all right? So we're going to try again. So I'm going to shuffle over, okay? I'm going to hold my racket, keep your eye on the ball. Okay, try to see and get it, oh, nearly. So now I need to do it even harder, all right? So I'm gonna shuffle over again, make sure I have the right amount of space so I can get my C, and I'm gonna go C and man. So that was too hard, all right? So nothing for me so far, all right? So I'm gonna go and get my balls. Okay, go and get them as quick as you can. Put them back on the cones. One, two, three. You have one ball, just keep doing it over and over again. All right, it's the same again. Okay, so remember that C shape, holding the racket, keeping it straight. Ready? So look, we're going to go C, hit. Better. Okay, a lot better that time. Ready? Shuffle to the next. Okay, remember that C. So C, hit. Float. Ready? Last one. Have a look. C, hit. Oh, okay. We're gonna make it harder now, all right? Although well, I don't think I need it harder, okay? We're now gonna add points, all right? So you get points for getting it into the square, all right? So if you get it in the square, you get 10 points. If you get it on the outside, you get five points. And if you get it on the outside, you don't get any, all right? So I'm gonna put my balls in my cones. I'm gonna stand up this time. So remember, it's that C shape we're looking for, okay? So like I'm gonna stand here, okay? Remember, it's that C, I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna come down and hit, okay? So it's down and hit. Perfect, so 10 points, all right? Same again, start up here. So we're gonna make that C shape, C, hit. Oh, a bit too hard that time. All right, but it's good. I'm getting good power now, and that C shape's really helping it with where I want it to go. All right, hit the middle of the racket, start up high, C, and hit. Oh, 20 points. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so go and collect your balls. Okay, I've got to try and beat 20 now. Okay, which is quite hard. If you've got zero, five, 10, doesn't matter. Try and beat your score, okay? Not my score, beat your own score, all right? Same again, put these on, 
Here we go. Let's see if I can so remember that C. So C hit for 10 points. Ready? Start up here. C hit. Oh, not as good that time. Okay, same again. Ready? C hit. Oh, only 10 that time. So not as good. Okay. Now, set the cones back. Go and get your ball. Now remember, forearm, okay, forehand. Remember we're facing this way, and our hand and the racket is facing forward. Backhand now. Let my knuckles are facing forward. And my racket is straight as well. The same. Or it might be slightly tilted, right? So I can get a bit of height on it. So we're gonna do that now. All right. So same again. Put these down. Put these down. Okay. Remember, same letter. We're going to make a C, but it'll be a bit like a reverse C, yeah? So look, same again, so C and hit. Nearly. Ready, knuckles facing that way. C, hit. Oh, there's 10 points, perfect. Ready, up high, so start up here. C, hit. 20 points, okay, it's pretty good. All right, go and get your ball. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Come back. Now, if you're finding it really easy, you might put the cones further back. If you're finding it hard, move them forward, okay? It doesn't really matter, okay? But it's completely up to you. So, same again. Come on there, come on there, come on there. Okay, remember. Ready? Start up high. Okay, ready? Down, hit. Oh, that is rubbish. <laughs> okay, try again. So, nice, two, and ready, and hit. Oh my god, that's even worse. One more time, ready? C, hit. There we go. Header. Okay, so I've gone from 20 points to zero. All right, so you can have good goes and bad goes. Okay? Now, last one. Okay? Last bit. Okay? This time, this is the tricky part, and if you're finding it too hard, you don't have to do it. You can carry on with what we were doing. This time, I'm going to see if I can drop the ball let it bounce and hit the ball into the square. Now I'm looking for the ball to bounce in the square, not finish in it. So I want it to bounce in the square and then it might go out, it might stay in, but the first bounce has got to be in the square. So I'm going to start from here, okay? So look, I'm going to try and, and it might be that you do no bounce, up to you, so you might go drop, bounce, hit, or nearly. Okay, ready, look, watch, drop, Bounce, hit. Better, that's perfect. Okay, ready, look. Throw up, bounce, hit. Really good. Now, if you watch the way I throw it, if I just drop it like this, it's not going to bounce very high. So make sure you throw it up a little bit so it bounces. Watch the ball with your eye and then connect with the middle of the racket. All right? So get your balls, bring them back. Okay, got my three. So 10 for it if it bounces in, 5 if it bounces from the outside, 0 if you miss it. Alright, so ready, look. I'm going to throw it up, watch it bounce, and hit. So 10 points. Remember, if you're on grass like this, it might bounce different ways. So you've got to watch the ball. Okay, so 10 points. So ready, look. Up, bounce, hit. Or oh, 5 for that one, so 15 in total. Okay, ready. Up, remember that C shape, and hit. Perfect. 25 points. Okay, five off what you can get in total. All right, now one more go. Okay, one more go. Okay, this time, backhand, a lot harder. So, for those that can't do it or are struggling with it, not a problem. You can either carry on doing it off the cone or you can carry on with your forehand. All right, so we're going to go on to our backhand. Okay, so remember, we're going to throw up, C, hit, or oh, a bit too hard that time. And you try and bounce it in the square. So remember, up, C, hit. Good. 10 points for that one. It bounced just in the square. Okay, one more go. So remember, throw it up, not just drop, throw it up, C, hit. Perfect. 20 points. Okay, pretty good. All right. Now, really, really good. Those games at the end, the harder ones, they're really, really important that you can connect with a ball once it bounces because in tennis obviously normally the ball bounces before you hit it you can't just hit it off the floor 
Right, so keep practicing that and that'll be in our challenge. Get ready for the questions. Here we go. Perfect, so I hope you've got your pen and paper ready now. Okay, that was a really, really good lesson. Okay, and things you can take away from that, a lot of different things. So three questions. The first question, okay, is gonna be, what were the two types of hitting that we did today with tennis? So there was this one and there was this one. Okay, so what are they both called? All right. Question number two is gonna be, what letter do we make when we swing our tennis racket? Okay, is it a Z? Okay, what is it? What is it? Okay, it's not a Z. All right. And then the third question is more of a challenge. Okay, I want you to set that game up and I want you to keep practicing your forehand and your backhand from dropping the ball. That's the important one, dropping the ball. Have a go with your parents, maybe challenge them so you can get the most points. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed our tennis lessons. Stay safe, see you later.